Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk about a very introductory level linear algebra book. The book is called Elementary Linear Algebra and it's written by Howard Anton. Uh, this is an older book and I think a lot of schools do use this still currently. I think there's a newer edition and it is uh, still used today. This book is extremely user friendly and it's very much written for beginners and that's what makes it uh, such a good book. Let's take a look inside it. So this is the table of content. It starts off with topics that are familiar to most people who are learning linear algebra. Most people know what systems of equations are. So the author starts with systems of linear equations and matrices. And it's a very, very gentle introduction. Then he goes on to determinants and then talks about vectors in two dimensions and three dimensions. So no mention of abstract vector spaces has been made yet. So now, in chapter 4, the author uh, introduces Euclidean end space and then talks about general vector spaces. So it's a very, very gentle introduction. Then they go on to linear transformations. The author does a really good job explaining linear transformations. I have read uh, 4 and 5 of this book, and I have referenced other parts uh, in the past. Then he talks about eigenvalues and eigenvectors then some applications to differential equations, and then some numerical methods of linear algebra. And there are answers to some of the exercises, which make this an excellent book for self-study. This is the section on subspaces. The author does a really good job explaining everything, and the book reads really well. It's written in a way that is very reader-friendly, or should I say user-friendly. Here he talks about the subspace criteria. It says, if W is a set of one or more vectors from a vector space V, then W is a subspace of V, if and only if the following conditions hold. So if U and V are vectors in W, then the sum of the vectors U plus V is also in W. If K is a scalar and U is a vector in W, then the scalar product KU is also in W. In other words, W is closed under, oh, there he says it, closed under addition and closed under scalar multiplication. So that's typically what you use to show that something is a subspace of something else. So the author does a good job and he proves the theorem. So uh, the readability of this book is very, very good and it's easier to read than many of the other linear algebra textbooks. The exercises in this book are really good. Um, they are really well in line with what you would study in an actual linear algebra class if you took a class in college. So if you're taking a class in college and then you buy this book, I think you'll find that a lot of the exercises in this book line up with what you actually do in your linear algebra class that you take in college. So this makes this book an extremely good supplement if you're already taking linear algebra. Also, it's an extremely good book for self-study because it has answers to almost all of the exercises in the back of the book. This is kind of interesting. This is example 11 in 5.1, Introduction to Linear Transformations. And it says, for readers who have studied calculus, in other words, the author doesn't even expect you to know calculus, right? You could read this book without even knowing calculus, right? You can learn linear algebra without even having calculus one. Obviously, the more math you have, the better it is because it raises your level of mathematical maturity. The more math you learn, the easier it becomes to learn new math. But kind of cool that the book is written at such a level where you can just pick it up and go. Again, the book is Elementary Linear Algebra and it's written by Howard Anton. I picked this book up years ago for a few dollars as a supplement to my other linear algebra books. And I think what I found most refreshing about this book was how easy it was to read uh, compared to many of the other books I have. That's it.